How to turn her on without saying a word? Can this even be done? We'll see. Stay tuned. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Erica Angelo, and I'm really glad to have you here. I help men become the kind of man that women cannot resist. While here's a good the thing that you can't miss while not losing yourself or her. Because what's the point of doing all the work if you lose a girl or you lose yourself in the process? So, and if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. It means a lot to me that you keep coming back. And if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe and turn on the bell because at the end of the day, my advice can really save you a lot of time, effort, and energy. You don't want to waste energy getting it all wrong. So just hit subscribe and YouTube. When you turn on the bell, it'll let you know, hey, she's got another video coming. So how do you turn her on without saying a word? Here's what it is. It's your demeanor and your posture. When you're on a date with a woman and she's talking or you meet a woman in a coffee shop, what many men try to do in these scenarios is they try to talk too much. A lot of times guys will come to me and go, well, what do I say? And what do I do? And what is this? And when you talk so much, what you do is you give her an energy, you give her a presence of neediness. And I am trying to prove myself to you. And that turns her off. So you want to do just the opposite. What you're going to do is you're going to stare at her up and down. And as she's talking, occasionally, you're just going to look at her like this. Yeah. Tell me more about that. What are you doing there? So here's the thing. People, we need to fill in the gaps. When someone else is quiet, it makes the other person talk more. They do this in negotiating, uh, as in coaching sometimes, or your therapist, you know, everyone will keep that awkward silence. And the other person innately feels like I need to, I need to disclose more. So when you're being quiet and observing her, it puts her in a state of like, I need to keep talking. Otherwise it's going to be awkward. You are cool as a, a cucumber. You're okay with her needing to talk because what you are showing her is that you are a strong man keeping your composure. But what you're doing when you occasionally, I'm not saying the whole time because you don't want to come across as a creep, but when you occasionally look at her like this, and you know, some guys have a little licking the lips thing down or the, the little, I'm watching myself to see if I'm doing it right though. It's not overtly saying I'm going to eat you, but it is saying to her, I'm going to eat you. So you're not coming out and saying, I'm going to eat you, but it's overtly saying that. And so this really turns a woman on. Why? <clears throat> Why does sitting there, listening to her, having a strong posture, holding space and not talking a lot. What does that say to her? It shows her that you're confident, that you're strong, that you're not needy, that you don't need to prove anything to her. You don't need to fill in all the spaces, but you're comfortable with being in your strength, being in your own presence, being in your body and listening to what she has to say. And as you're communicating that strength, which, which tells her, okay, this is a man. This is an emotional warrior. This is an alpha male. Like I'm not just messing with some insecure guy who has to talk so much, but this is a very strong man. So just in that demeanor itself, it turns her on. But when you interject a little looking her up and down a little bit of, um, hmm, just moving the lips a little bit, these things insinuate sexuality. Like I desire you. I want to eat you. And then you bring your attention back to her eyes. You listen to what she says. And occasionally you repeat back to her what she said. Oh, so you're saying that you really enjoy this type of coffee, that that is your favorite. Hmm. I'll have to give it a try sometime and just kind of smile at her. Many guys, they turn women off because they're anxious and their approach, they're anxious and how they're communicating with her and women feel that and it turns them off. But when a guy is strong, he's calm, he's cool, he's collective, he's listening to what she has to say 
while interjecting those little looks, the little gestures of the mouth, and then repeating back what she says. So you don't, she doesn't feel like you're just this creep staring at her and licking his lips, but basically he's also listening. It's those subtle moves that turn a woman on. Why? Because it implies in her mind, this is a real man. This is a man that once we get to the bedroom, he's going to know how to take care of me. Listen, if you're new here and you've never worked with me, in the description, you can click the link that says work with me or in the comment section, I highly suggest that you do that. Um, and thank you. Thank you again for being here. Guys, you have what it takes. You've got it. You know, some of you guys, this is my last bit of advice for you. Some of you guys, it's a subtle less is more. And if there's anything that you've taken away from this video, this is what I really want you to grab is that sometimes doing a lot less is actually more for my more anxious guys, my more insecure guys, my guys who just, you know, you kind of get really nervous in front of a woman. I know your innate reaction is to want to do more, to say more, to fill in the gaps but actually that is shooting your, you in the foot because she can sense that you're nervous and it does turn her off. So when you can remain calm, cool, collective, acknowledging what she's saying to show her, Hey, I hear you, but also giving her those sexual gestures, like looking her up and down, like, yeah, I desire, I desire you. And the little mm, moving the lips means I want to taste you but you're never saying that. And then you're maintaining that eye con contact. Sometimes less is more. So just remind yourself of that. So you have what it takes and know this, darling, you are so, so, so loved. Even as you're out in the world, trying to turn women on without saying a word, even in those moments, my darling, you are so loved. I will see you in my next video.